so what I want to do today is to just very briefly look at the work that we're doing and how this basically leads into the world toilet world toilet design vision that you standard vision that you have um outlined so i'm going to talk a little bit about shanghai because this is um the public toilet or the toilet situation or the sanitation situation most generally that um i know most about but um with implications for pretty much everywhere else around the world. We have plenty of lessons to learn from there, I think. Um, so our approach is to look at this from a systems perspective and to understand that we cannot pledge or urge for the installation of one singular sanitation system and um, put the Western flush toilet system and, and sewage system at, at the top of this. But we have to understand that we have very, very different types of people with very different backgrounds and we need to cater to their infrastructural needs through multiple kinds of um, sanitation infrastructures in the city and that all of these infrastructures have to be managed by the city solution. Um, so our approach is to try and understand all of the all of, of these sanitation related issues through a human ecosystem framework. But we, we do hope that the work that we're doing will eventually inform policy making in such a way that what is considered clean and safe for people as a sanitation practice can also be sustainable in the longer term and not as wasteful as the Western style flush system is and is considered to be and this is um, where we're working at the moment now getting back to the world toilet design standard so here we are first and foremost identifying COVID-19 transmission pathways um, we are analyzing in depth within specific contexts what kind of sanitation infrastructures exist what kind of sanitation practices exist um, the very details of these which which have to do with the availability of public toilets the availability of private toilets the states of these um, toilets who takes care of these toilets and what kind of um, non-academic stakeholders we need to take on board in order to implement transition and to understand the situation in order to implement um, transitions and so eventually uh, based on all this detailed knowledge we hope to develop these context specific recommendations and guidelines based on, on the systemic understanding and in collaboration with local partners that is all from me thank you